Looking Glass in Boston, um, you know, in the early 90s and, and mid 90s, I guess, uh, just an incredible run of games. If you count the Underworld games, the Thief games, System Shock games, um, Terra Nova, Flight Unlimited. Uh, but, but anyway, the, the, certainly those first few were amazing. Um, and I got to work with those guys for 10 months as a, a peon, really, like a, a tester, you know. Uh, but I learned so much. I soaked up so much from people like Doug Church, who was just generous and amazing to work with. I saw him recently in Austin. Uh, he was in town for a couple of days after we shipped Dishonored, and it was just great to talk to him about Dishonored and, and, and you know, how people were reacting to the game. And he went over the GDC talk that Rafael Colantonio and I were going to do and gave us super great insights. And I, I often think about Looking Glass, and uh, I had a job offer to, to go work with them for a while and turned it down ultimately to stay in Austin and work on this project that I had pitched that eventually got killed by Electronic Arts, but uh, was still a great learning experience. It was a year-long learning experience for me. Um, but what was it that made Looking Glass so special? Was it a number of people from MIT in one place at one time who were just absolutely great? A number of them were musicians. Did that have something to do with it? Uh, was it the time in the industry, like suddenly we could do 3D? And so you could take all of these concepts that you know people had done a generation before and apply physics and lighting to them. Um, you know, was it just sometimes there's a person, you know, there's a person like Doug Church. Uh, and there were other very smart, creative people around him there as well. Uh, people I call friends and people I learned a lot from and people I admire from a distance, some of whom I don't even know. Um, but, you know, it could be all of those things, I guess, but it was certainly was like, I mean, point to another developer that like has done so much revolutionary stuff in a in a in a period of time that is also so singularly unified in vision uh, it's it's hard to do